Hello, this is Sims Art, an illustrator and comic book artist. In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting and powerful tools for working with vector layers in Clip Studio Paint. In the previous video, we talked about how the vector layers can help with our design in Clip Studio Paint. In this video, I'm going to show in detail all the tools that help to correct the line while using a vector layer. Where can I find the vector tools? Control points, pinch vector line, simplify vector line, connect vector lines, adjust line width, redraw vector line, redraw vector line width. Where can I find the vector tools? In Clip Studio Paint, the useful tools for line correction can be found grouped in the correct line subtool. This can be found in the tool window, which is located in window tool. The Correct Line subtool has by default a whole set of tools, but in case some of them are missing, it's possible to add the default version of the Correct Line subtool, clicking on the burger menu of the tool window, then clicking on Add from default, and from the list, selecting Correct Line. Now that we have located the tools we need for this tutorial, let's see how each one of them can help in making our life easier while working with vectors. Control point is the first tool of the list and definitely one of the most useful when it comes to slightly fine-tuning the lines we designed on a vector layer. With this tool, we can perform different types of operations based on the control point specific settings we selected. Let's take a look at these settings in detail. Move control points. Allow to move any control point of the vector line. This is useful if we design something that has to be slightly different, for example. Just click and drag the point to a different location. Add control points. Allows to add a control point on the vector line. This can be really useful, especially in combination with the next tools, to make our vector line more detailed. Click in any part of the vector line that doesn't have a control point and see it appear. Delete control points. With this tool, we can remove a control point simply by clicking on it. Switch corner. Thanks to this tool, we can change the behavior of the vector line while passing through the control point we selected. We can switch from a curvy linear behavior and an angular one clicking on any control point. Adjust line width. This tool lets us change the width of a line in a granular way. Extremely useful for a more expressive design. Clicking and dragging the control point up and down and a line passing through it will change its width. Adjust opacity. If we want to change the opacity of the line passing through a specific control point, this tool is what we need. Clicking and dragging up or down the mouse to see the opacity of the line change. Split line. There are cases where we want a vector line to be split in two. With these settings, we can click on a control point and split it in two overlapping control points, each at the end of their respective vector line. Pinch vector line. Pinch vector line is somehow similar to control point, but it allows for a broader manipulation of the vector line thanks to its parameters that we can control in the Tool Property window located in Window Tool Property. We can change the Pinch Level, Effect Range, Add a Control Point every time we use this tool and connect to separate vector lines. Simplify Vector Lines Simplify Vector Lines is an extremely useful tool when it comes to work with vectors. Usually when a line is drawn on a vector layer, it has a large number of unnecessary control points. With this tool, it's possible to paint over it, and Clip Studio Paint will automatically remove all the unnecessary control points, smoothing the line. The level of simplification can be changed, and so the brush size. It's also possible to remove any short line below a certain set threshold. This tool can be a go-to passage when working with vectors, to clean them up before performing any further operation. Connect vector lines. Similarly to simplify vector lines, connect vector lines helps when two separate vector lines need to be connected on a vector layer. The size of this tool can be changed and any simplification that works exactly like simplify vector lines can be set to smooth the outcome for cleaner results. Adjust line width. As the name suggests with this tool, it's possible to change any vector line width. It works just like a brush 
and painting with it over any vector line will apply its effect. There are different options available, as always located in the Tool Property window. Each one of them can be tuned to be more or less intense. Thicken makes the line thicker by adding the desired number of pixels. Narrow will have the opposite effect. Scale up, scale down and fix width change the line size respectively making it bigger, smaller or setting it to a specific size. The option to process the whole line allows you to affect the entire vector path instead of the area of the line where the tool is used. Ultimately, we can change the brush effect area size. Redraw vector line. This tool comes in handy for any case where the vector line has been drawn but also has to be changed consistently. It works like a brush and drawing with it over a pre-existent vector line will change it dramatically. This tool has many options, like the way it handles the end of the vector path, keeping it fixed, or letting both or only one of the two ends to move. It can also operate a simplification of the path and connect separate lines. Ultimately, a stabilization can be applied to make it simpler to control while drawing. Redraw vector line width. Last but not least, with the redraw vector line width, it's possible to draw over any vector path and change its width to a set size, adjustable in the tool properties. With this tool, we went to all the correct line subtool options. Many of these tools that work like brushes also have the option to be fine-tuned based on the pressure of a stylus when working with a pen tablet. So it's worth experimenting to see the different possible results if given the chance. I also invite anyone to experiment with any of these tools to find the best application for your own workflow. In any case, that's all I have for you today and for any questions, leave a message down below. Thank you for watching.